Hi, and welcome back. This is video two in the, I guess, assembly um, introduction series. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at A2+. And if you've not used it before, you can find it um, by going to your, I guess, workbenches tab, and you can see A2 plus here. And if you don't have it, um, you come over here to Tools, Add-on Manager, and you come down here, A2 plus, and you click Install, and then uh, you reinstall it. So A2 plus, how does it work? So the default, I guess, recommended um, way to use A2 plus is to make a new file here. And this is going to be the file that our entire assembly lives in. So this is a lot closer to uh, how, I guess, SolidWorks um, handles assemblies. So this file has assemblies in it. And then uh, we've got another file with our, I guess, parts in it. And then we'll go grab the parts out of this file. So I'm going to save this file real quick. We'll save this as A2+. Plus. And then I'm going to switch over to the A2 plus workbench here. And it's taking a little bit because it's got to load it all in, but we've loaded it all in now. I'm going to click the plus button and it's going to ask me to come over here and select the parts that I want to import. Um, I'll do import pliers and we can see down here, make this bigger for you, that uh, it spit out an error. So this is the error here. Ignore the error up above. That's just my system. Um, but this error, um, I, I happen to know that this error is because A2 Plus does not like uh, importing files with these like link files in them. So I'm going to actually duplicate this pliers. We'll do save as here. And I'll just name this like pliers A2 plus. Okay, and then I'm going to delete the uh, the links out of it. And we'll see if it likes that better. So grab pliers A2 plus, and it does like it. Um, we are getting some some weirdness here. Um, we'll figure out what that's about. But uh, you'll notice it imported everything as one part. Um, and that's because A2 Plus imports an entire file as a part by, by default, I guess, if you're using this button. And I think this is the button that you'd want to use. If you want to import an individual body, you can use this second button here. This add a single shape out of an external file to the assembly. Um, but this is kind of risky if you were messing around with multiple shapes inside of a uh, inside of a part. So I'll show that here real fast. So it allows us to select uh, what body we want to import. And of course, I I named my bodies um, pretty good. So here's body one, and here is body two. I guess body zero zero one. Um, yep. There we go. And you'll notice that these are two different parts. So that's nice if you've got it all in, in one part, I guess in one file. Um, but typically, I believe you would want to split it out into multiple files. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to take this and save it as a, I guess, second file. And then we'll do handle. A2 plus. And then I'm going to come over here and open the original pliers A2 plus. And I will delete this, delete this, delete the handle. Alrighty, now that we've just got the grabber, I shall save as grabber A2 plus. And if you if you were using, or I guess if you were planning to use A2 plus, um, you would probably do this kind of one part per file 
from the beginning so that you don't have to go through and, and edit any bits um, because this particular part here is pretty risky um, since it references a part that we have now deleted. So like this binder here, like, you know, if you updated this, I don't know if this binder would update. It might, it might not, kind of risky. But uh, that's what we're going to do. And in this handle A2+, plus, I'm going to delete the grabber. All righty. We'll save that, save this, and we'll come back to A2+, plus, and I'll insert my handle A2 plus file, great. And I will insert my grabber A2 plus file. Awesome. And the way A2 plus works is it uh, it simplifies your file. So I believe that this here is actually the equivalent of like a step file. You'll notice that this contains no information about the part itself, you know, the tree or the design or anything. It's literally just the body. Um, so now we're missing the, I guess, the upper part of the handle. And I believe that's probably my fault. We will see here. And you'll notice that uh, this pad at the end doesn't have the little, uh, the little green, I don't know, flag thing. Um, and this flag indicates that this is the end of the tree, right? So this is this is basically the end of the part, and it just ignores everything after this. Um, even though we're we're seeing this and it exists, uh, FreeCAD is treating it as if this is the end. So the way we fix that, we go over to uh, Part Design here, and we do Set Tip. And this should only happen if you were messing around with the tip, like uh, like I was. So we come back here, and then we should be able to switch back to A2 plus and do update parts. And you'll see it updates here. And an important thing to notice is that because A2 plus is referencing a file, you do have to save your part for it to update. So you might. I guess you might run into scenarios where you don't necessarily want to do that, and it's important to keep that in mind. So now I'm going to go ahead and insert another set of handles and another set of grabbers. I guess one more grabber to make a full set. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to move these kind of into the uh, place that they're going to end up approximately. Alrighty, and then we get to start with the, uh, I guess, more fun bits, um, putting in our constraints. So I'm going to look. So this first one, uh, this first part I put in here is marked as fixed position true. Um, that means that this part is not going to move relative to the rest of the assembly, and that's fine for this. But if you, if you, I guess, didn't want your original part to be fixed, you could come in here, change this to false, and then pick another part and change it to true. Uh, it is, I guess, I would recommend having at least one part that is fixed, because um, otherwise your assembly is going to be like floating around all over the place, and it's going to be a lot more difficult for the solver to solve. So now that we have this, I'm going to come over and put some constraints in. So you can open up this dialog box here to uh, get some constraints in this, or uh, you can just click the buttons up on top here. Both of them work the same. I'll use the dialog box because it's bigger. And so the first constraint we're going to do is a plane to plane coincident constraint. I believe that is this one. And I'm going to flip the direction here so that they're facing each other. And we'll accept that. And then I'll do a, uh, let's see, this one, axis to axis constraint. That looks good. And then at this point, I'm going to uh, rotate this to be kind of more of a, you know, normal position. Um, let's see. And it looks like this rotate is, uh, is not working. Um, so we'll use the other rotate button. Oops. 
There we go. And I'm going to do the, uh, the blue one here. We should see this snap into position. Maybe we need to recalculate our constraints. A little odd there. Solve constraints. OK, there we go. Um, let's see. We do have auto toggled on. Not quite sure why they didn't update. Um, but let's see. Let's see. So then we're just going to continue this. This is a, I guess, relatively straightforward set of constraints. And we've got to flip this one. OK, and then that might be a little bit difficult to uh, to get to. So I'm going to move it. And this is funky because our origin was funky in the original, um, because both, oh, I guess, all of these parts share a common origin. And then I'll do this and this we will do coincident. We'll accept that. And then for this one here, I want, let's see, yeah, I want it just like this. So we'll do the bottom of this and the top of this. And we'll accept that. And then this one here. And then one more here and here. And it's thinking, it's thinking, it figured it out. And that's looking pretty good. And that's all of the uh, constraints that we need for this. So now I'm going to come over here. We'll see if uh, this button works again. Oh, and looks like it does. Um, so this is kind of how you would move these around while obeying the constraints. It's not, you know, the best, I guess, dragging tool. It just kind of does whatever it wants and uh, you know you try to keep up with it but you could you could get it there and you can kind of see how things move um, I don't know if I necessarily like this I think it could have some improvements done you'll notice that it actually follows about the opposite of what my mouse is doing if I move to the right the part moves to the left and if I move to the left the part moves to the right so not the best but you can see that it does work and that is A2 plus for you. Um, there, I guess, are a few things I didn't talk about, but you know, I don't feel that they're super useful. Um, I do believe A2 plus, you got a parts list. Um, I guess I clicked it, so we'll see what it does. And parts list here, uh, it's got a couple of properties nobody knows about. I'm sure you can look up some stuff on this. Maybe I'll talk about this in a in a future video. But uh, it does seem, yeah, it it got quantities, it got file names. Um, you know, not super great. If you were sending this to a a vendor, they would want kind of some more information. But it is good enough. Oops, go back to A2 plus. I'm actually going to delete this spreadsheet and. Uh, I'll call this the, uh, the end of the video. I hope you, you learned something and uh, join us for video three where I talk about uh, assembly three.